Over the past few years, we followed our next guests as they've struggled with infertility. Let's take a look at their journey. We've been trying to have a baby since our wedding day, and over two years later, still no baby. We've had two miscarriages, five rounds of Clomid, one insemination, and two rounds of IVF so far. The doctor said, the reason why he can't have kids is because my eggs are the eggs of like a 45-year-old woman. There is a small chance that you'll ever be able to have your own babies. And so, you know, when he says that, um, I feel like the world just caved in on me. We decided to go to a new doctor before starting our third round. We don't need 20 good eggs when you want good egg. Unfortunately, today, we got a call from our doctor this morning. And he said that none of our embryos turned into blastuses. And that means, once again, we'll back to zero, I guess. I know this has been a very emotional journey for both of you, but where are things at right now for you two? We recently had some, some new news that it might actually be male factor contributing to this infertility, and that could well be fixed. So we're kind of on the upswing of hopeful right now. And you also got very close in the adoption process. You know, there was a, a point where we thought, oh my gosh, tomorrow we're going to be parents. And and then it was it was taken away from us. Never thought that we would be parents. That thought has never crossed my mind. Um, it's just like, how much more pain do we have to endure until we get there? We'll always have fun by now. We are going to come back here and sit on the stage and introduce you to our kids someday. I know that's going to happen. Alexis and Gabe are here with an update. Come on out and join us. Fill us in, what happened from that point Let's hear the you were rest last of on the story. stage to now? Finally, about 10 months ago, everything turned around for us, thankfully. Um, Grant's birth mom um, came to us and said she was looking for a family to raise her son. And um, we were, of course, totally floored. And a week later, miraculously, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, we were we were told um, we were told that I could never get pregnant, um, that it wasn't possible. And we did this. And Gianna was born uh, without any fertility treatments or or anything. So wow. it's just a miracle. Wow. <laughs> so what I have, I have to ask. What's it like raising two little ones? <laughs> it's amazing because we've been wanting this for so long, but it's it's crazy. <laughs> There's a lot of diapers and a lot of feeding, but in all honesty, after dealing with infertility for four years, it really puts parenting into perspective. I mean, a middle of the night wake up, I would have died for it a few years ago, you know? And so now it just seems like I have two kids and they both want me, you know? They need me, they need us. Your story is just so touching, so inspiring, and I think as a fertility um, specialist, you know, I see so many couples struggling just like you did, and there's got to be something to be said for, you know, when you heard the good news about the adoption and a little bit of, of uh, stress really that came maybe came yeah. part of the reason for your good news. You know, you never know because we were diagnosed with unexplained infertility, yeah. which was so frustrating because without a, a problem, how can you find a solution? Right. Um, but I just, I really think that it was meant to be. I mean, Grant was always supposed to be our son. And once that was in the works, I felt like it was, you know, a fate thing. Like, okay, now you can get pregnant. Have 10 if you want, which I do. 